this video, we're going to look at some ways that you can interact with a Yuja video. So first of all, I have one um, that's just embedded within a page in Canvas. And I'm just going to play from the beginning. I'm going to make sure to try to mute that right away. Thank you so much. OK, so first of all, as this is playing, um, you can move around um, the instructor space. So if you're just like, oh, this is the wrong spot for my instructor to show up, move it somewhere else. Um, you can also pop in the closed captions. You can add in notes. So did you, I don't know if you caught that by clicking on this um, little show sidebar. I have all sorts of options, right? I can click back on these. I can look at this. I think the slides is kind of a mess because it's not really a slide kind of deal. Uh, I can see the captions, but I can also add notes. So as I'm going through, it can be like, right, um, uh, skill practice. Um, yeah, that, okay, right. She's going to talk about um, uh, adding percents, right? And then maybe later on, um, they, she mentioned the, the dollars. Oh, this is the absolute. And so it kind of just shows for you, hey, this is where um, within the video, my instructor's talking about this particular topic. So I can go back there and I can be like, oh, right, I need to like make a little uh, note about this. You can also just make general comments. Um, so you can see comments that are, have been made. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then you can see any resources um, that have been posted. If you click on the gear, you can also kind of check out um, some of the other options. So you can add a comment. Uh, this was really helpful. And I can post that to the video. I can look at this in an external player, right? Oh, that's just maybe more than I wanted in my life. And now I'm going to mute that, right? So I can look in the external player. It's kind of made it a lot bigger. Right, so I can um, see everything all together. I can still pop up that um, comments list, right, to see all the little options. I can still pop up the gear if I need to. I can hide the thumbnails. I can go back to 10 seconds. Oh, I can get the picture in picture and I can move this around again. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right, it can be like, whew. And then um, the caption setting by default is English. Um, if you needed to, if for some reason it was in another language, um, that you could be in, have an, as an option to change it. But in general, it's usually in English. That's our default. So you have actually a number of ways to interact with and check out um, your videos within Canvas. So here's my little note now that it shows up at. Uh, 354, right? So when other students uh, watch the video, they should also be able to see the comments. I'm not 100% about that. All right. Um, so I've also heard that if you stop, so I'm like, oh, I'm done for the day. I can't take any more. This is too much. Um, that when you come back into the video later on, it will pick up where you left off, which is really helpful um, for those of you watching really long videos. So um, this little sidebar with the notes is super useful. Um, and then being able to add comments, I think would be um, practical. And then being able to just download the notes right afterwards and be like, okay, I'm gonna grab um, the notes and um, have those as a file that I can kind of keep with me, um, can help you out as a resource. So those are some little tips for using Yuja and watching Yuja videos within Canvas.